Hello and welcome to Prime News with me Nada Fernandez. Let's have a look at the headlines first. Defence Minister Manohar Parrikar proposes an out of the court settlement on the mother issue. Chief Minister says tribunal settlement is best for Goa. The Select Committee on MOI meets. Draft copy of the Goa School Education Amendment Bill 2014 and cabinet notes circulated to the members. Remo Fernandez arrested and released on bail. Says allegations are lies, he was subjected to extortion even as he offered to help. Now the news in detail. In the wake of Defence Minister Manohar Parikar proposing an out-of-court settlement on the Made issue on water sharing between Goa and Karnataka, there seems to be contradiction in views. The Goa Chief Minister Lakshmikan Parsekar has said he sticks to his earlier stand that the dispute should be settled in court. While the Defence Minister seems to have suggested an out-of-court settlement, however, Parsekar said if his senior colleagues take the initiative, it is welcome, but he was non-committal on out-of-court settlement. Chief Minister Lakshmikan Parsekar said, Raksha Mantri is his senior colleague and he really did not know what he said. But he is sticking to his point, which is settlement in the tribunal. Parsekar said he would be happy if Parikar takes this initiative of out-of-the-court settlement, but he still thinks that a settlement through the tribunal is the right thing. I am speaking to my friend. I am the Apple for the initiative get law and Raksha Mantri, former the senior Madis. So, initiative get law, the major objection. But what about the old Maka Ozuni? This matter, tribunal of Samorasa. Tribunal of the kid decides the Oji. Tribunal of the young Kalanasa, I mean, but Tober and Tumi, Tober and Tumi bilateral talks to Maridina. Maka Yogi, Maka Yogi, this son. CM asked the press why they were trying to create controversy and Raksha Mantri did not mention anything to him the previous day. He refused to give a definitive answer on out-of-the-court settlement. Why you are trying to create controversy? One Raksha Mantri met me yesterday. He did not utter a word about this. I don't know how he has been interpreted, where he spoke, what reaction Everything has come in papers. All papers have reported it. For Prime, video journalist Sunny Narvikar, Panjim. Goa government will create a parallel structure for Ayush on the lines of present health department in Goa. Goa cabinet decided to appoint 38 Ayush practitioners under Directorate of Health Services. Ayush Research Centre will be located at Chimbal and Naturopathy Centre has been planned at Dargal. It was also decided to create 16 posts for veterinary offices, Chief Minister Lakshmikan Parsikal told media after the cabinet meeting Friday. The Deputy Chief Minister also announced that Panjim had been shortlisted among the 100 cities under Smart City Scheme. The parallel structure would consist of Deputy Director, Assistant Director, Physicians, etc. Chief Minister Lakshmikan Parsikal told media at a press briefing after the cabinet meeting on Friday. Ayush system is presently existing at district, sub-district, CHC and PHC levels. Two district hospitals for Ayush at Sankelim in north and Makazana in south will come up, Deputy Chief Minister Francis D'Souza said. Ayush Deputy Director, Assistant Directors, Ayurvedic Physicians, Homeopathic Physicians, Ashish Narayan. Ayush Research Center at the Dorchi Bend. And the Naturopathy Institute, all Indian Naturopathy Institute at the Lada. The Deputy Chief Minister also said that Panjim had been shortlisted among the 100 cities and was now competing to get into the last 20 cities. CCP would get 200 crore rupees if selected. I proposal so the December high powered committee, state high powered 
फॉर प्राइम व्हिडिओ जर्नलिस्ट सनी नार्वेकर पॅनजिम The Select Committee on Medium of Instruction met after a long time on Friday under the chairmanship of Chief Minister and Secretariat. The draft copy of the Goa School Education Amendment Bill 2014 was circulated to the members which included former Chief Minister Digambar Kamath who had given grants to diocesan primary schools during his tenure. Six members were present for the meeting. A cabinet note was also circulated to the MOI Select Committee. The MOI bill is expected to come up for passage in January 11th assembly session as told by Parsekar. The BBSM is fiercely opposing the bill while force is demanding that the bill be passed and continue to give grants to Zaisis in primary schools as promised by the BJP government. Meanwhile, the cabinet has granted extensions to two senior officers, Dr. Sanjan Govekar, Deputy Director Vector Bone Disease and Anil KN Desai, Assistant Registrar Cooperatives South Goa. The High Court of Bombay at Goa has issued direction to the Murmuga Municipal Council to demolish the remaining 297 structures out of the total 363 structures which are located at Kharivara Shore. The MMC have earlier raised 66 structures in 2011 to 2012. The MMC chief Dipali Naik has disclosed that the MPT has filed an appeal before the High Court of Bombay at Goa seeking demolition of the remaining 297 structures which are lying at Kariwara show at the High Court in this regard has issued the order on January 7th. Chennation Next has alleged conflict of interest with the Panjim MLA Siddharth Kunkolikar shown as consultant in the proposed Goa State Pollution Control Building work. Kunkolikar, however, did not reply to the issue raised but advised that such people should not make business out of politics. So, architect, architect called autonomous architect consultant, structural consultant Bob Madhav Kamad and Associates, electrical consultant Dinesh Metre and thank you address, firefighting consultant Avion Building Automation, Ajapaji coach sir, HVAC consultant, Munja Tavi Faisal, Dagar Kondri Ek Siddharth Kukwadagar Munun, तो नाव दिल्ली के लिए हाँ। H V A C A C कंसर्टेंट H V A C तो A C जब करता है फुल बिल्डिंग है ताकि H V A C मंडरता है। H V A C कंसर्टेंट सिद्धार्थ कुकरगर शारदा ग्राउंड फ्लोर पंजी गोवा भोगदीवाक ईमेल सिद्धार्थ कुक्स एट जीमेल डॉट कॉम टेलीफोन नंबर जीरो एट थ्री टू सिक्स फाइव वन वन एट वन टू फैक्स जीरो एट थ्री � आता वो कोर्ट सिद्धार्थ कुकड़कर मुन्न सुधुनकर मामा माचू उम्मीद आए थे जन्ना मी ये नंबर जीरो एट थ्री टू सिक्स फाइव वन वन एट वन वन टू ट्रू कॉल रजर कर ले राती अकरा वर रजर कर तरह सिस्टमेटिक पढ़े एक नंबर दर कालशाल तरह बाप सिद्धार्थ को कलकार मनाएंगे अरे बोलो एक बीजेपी से झंडा के नुकटे बदल आए तो अरे मैं इधर ज़ूम करो इधर पैसा एक फोटो तरह सापोड़ा तो बाप कोण जो सा आमदार सिद्धार्थ को कलकार This is a pure case of conflict of interest सरकार भारतीय जनता पार्टी से आमदार भारतीय जनता पार्टी तो, एचवीसी एक कंसल्टेंट भारतीय जनता पार्टी तो, कॉन्ट्रैक्ट दिता जेएसआईडीसी, जेएडीसी तो वाइस चेयरमैन, कॉन्ट्रैक्टर हिमसेल्फ, 
जनरेशन नेक्स्ट है तो प्रेसिडेंट आते हैं ना आरोप के लिए कि कॉन्फ्लिक्ट ऑफ इंटरेस्ट ही है कलाम ना जो जी पोल्यूशन कंट्रोल बोला जी बिल्डिंग ये तो नहीं है तीन जो एसी बसों पर जाए तो कॉन्फ्लिक्ट ऑफ इंटरेस्ट जो तुम का कॉन्ट्रैक्ट में हैं आये तेरे को कोई विषय उसमें कहीं समझो ना उन्हें पॉलिटिक्स और थोड़ा जाना तो धंधों जान बसता है मगर इस तरह तानी पॉलिटिक्स तो धंधों कर चो नहीं धंधों में जो स्वतः तो व्यवसाय है सब स्वतः जी नौकरी है सब स्वतः जी काम धंधा है सब स्वतः जी जो फैमिली से लेते लो पॉट बर्तन और दूसरे मार्गनलेन जोड़ पाल रहे कष्ट करो पॉलिटिक्स तो धंधों कर चो नहीं मुझे एक बुक्ते दंगे के एडवाइस नो लेट्स टेक स्टार्ट ब्रेक विल बी बैक सून प्लीज स्टे ट्यून्ड नोबल ट्रेडिंग an authorized distributor for Johnson's bathroom in Goa. We bring to you wide ranges of sanitary and city fittings. To suit your luxury home, we have wall hangs, bathroom with jacuzzis, shower panels, diva, allied products, floor mounted couple closets, vanity basins, wash basins, under and over counter basins, urinals, partitions, and a lot more. Our address is S. Tan Kamat Palace, Kolim Mapsa, Goa. Contact us on 800 Seven eight nine three seven eight six, or email us. Basilio Force of Life. Basilio 7th Health Club Gym open from 6 a.m. to 12 p.m. and 5 p.m. to 10 p.m. We have treadmills, ellipticals, spin cycles, around 70 single station machines for each and every body part. The heaviest dumbbell from 5 pounds to 200 pounds. International standard machines from Jedi Fitness. For further details, contact on 9822384909 or 2228014. Basilio Force of Life. Watch Resort Goa. Discover Goa and more with the people who know Goa. Gone Bananas Wholesale and Retail Shop. Indian art compiled in a shop from various parts of India, dealing with curious artifacts and gift items. Address Shop Number AG2 Blessed Pioneer Opposite District Courts Margao Goa. You can contact us on 955-7391-979. Gone Bananas. Si 
सा फुडार तुजो नेटयता तू सगळे तुका सांग जीवी तक दिऊ ना कर कोण जोडायता फुडार उजळ्या पावडर दोला ना एम एन इन्स्टिट्यूट एम एन इन्स्टिट्यूट Welcome back. Did the Deputy Chief Minister Francis de Sousa crumble the government's firm stand on not scrapping the regional plan? De Sousa had made a statement in Salsit that if majority want the plan to be scrapped, then the plan will be scrapped. On Friday, when Chief Minister Lakshmikant Parsikar was in Salsit, he sang the same tune and asked why not if the majority of the people want it scrapped, then why should we impose it on them? The plan is for the people, he said. If they want it, it will be scrapped. Parsekar said. The Chief Minister who was speaking after inaugurating the 36th Sub-Junior National Archery Championship 2016 for boys and girls at Fatoda also said the state had created good infrastructure of sports. Chance, scrap sala bo chance, possibility. Kani matla, lokang na kaadar why should we impose upon people? Lokang khatir ni to. Yamane lokang mahatwa asa, lokang garaj asa dadar kuru gai. National Archery Championship organized by Amateur Archery Association of Goa through the Open. We improved most of our grounds and put up good stadiums. And in result, we are getting a wonderful response. for organizing various sports events in the state of goa it is because of the archery championship that it is 36 of its nature i have been told that this association was formed here in 2004 and over a period of last 11 years they have been constantly working over providing the facilities to young archers Chief Minister also disclosed that preparations for the national games to be hosted by Goa in 2017 are on but the same will not be hosted before 2017 assembly elections. So national games are preparation in Bala. Election by the amigo. For Prime video journalist Aditi Bidre Margao. Pop star and Padma Shri Remo Fernandez was on Friday arrested and subsequently released on bail in the case of alleged verbal abuse of a minor girl by Agasaim police. Remo stated that the case against him was a lie and attempt of extortion. As directed by Goa Children's Court, Remo has also surrendered his passport to the police. After he was granted anticipatory bail by the Goa Children's Court, In the case Remo Fernandez reported to Agasaim police station for investigation in the case on Friday. See this is a clear case you know, where people are trying to extort money from you by spreading lies and by fabricating you know, accusations against me. And yesterday already the first lies have been exposed and I'm so happy about that. You know it was a fantastic judgment. and uh, it was not only because i got anticipatory mail but in the same judgment which is so wisely put and so well worded the judge has already started exposing the lies of the of the people who are accusing me not only the lies but the incons inconsistencies in their accusations uh, she has exposed that right in the beginning he claimed that that i had not visited the victim at all at all and then he is claiming that not only did i visit the victim i insulted her so all this all this is already showing you know the lies and the fabrications and i am sure that as the case goes on you know because yesterday's judgment has just reinforced my faith in the judiciary okay and i know that once the case starts more and more lies are going to be exposed if i visited the victim yeah. you know yes of course i visited the victim not only in the gmc hospital on the very day of the accident I visited her in the Azilo Hospital. On that same evening, I went over there, and then uh, on the third day, I went to GMC, where I, you know, where I tried to offer uh, the priests who are in charge of this padyatra, 
the priests were in charge of, of this padhyatra right from Malvan to here. They, they told me, Remo, this is not your fault. You know, the, the buffaloes came running onto the road. This is not the girl's fault. She got scared of the buffalo. She dashed on your car. It is not your fault. It is not her fault. It is the buffalo's fault. But the buffaloes cannot be asked, you know, for compensation. Since you are a well-to-do person and she comes from a poor background, we request you to please, you know, help her. I said, of course, Father, of course I will. And uh, they requested me to help her by giving all, uh, all medical assistance. All the medical assistance, and I, and I took down all the, you know, the estimate of how much everything was going to cost, including taxis all the way from Sinudur to here for two or three trips, the food and everything. And when we, in front of them, I mean, together with them, okay, they gave me the figures. When we reached a certain figure, I doubled it. I doubled it just for, and that was just the initial help, you know, for their immediate needs. I told them that my car is well insured, besides that you will get some lakhs from the insurance company. But no, that is when the extortion started. South Goa collector Sachin Shinde emphasized that maintaining the male-female ratio is very important to have a healthy society. Shinde was speaking after the inauguration of painting and elocution competition for school children at Ravinda Bhavan. He said that in order to bring awareness among children that the girl child is equally more important. It's very essential for a healthy society to have adequate proportion of boys and adequate proportion of girls. Now, in order to create this awareness, we have conducted this event of painting competitions and this elocution competitions. The message that I want to pass across to the new generation is that the girl child is as important or going further I'll say is more important than the male, male preferences. I hope only this message is accepted, is understood by the children. Speaking at the function, MMC chairperson Babita Prabhudesai said that women have scored over their male counterparts in nearly every field. I think today in every walk of life, in every field of life, whether it is science, whether it is, whether it is uh, commerce, whether it is technology, whether it is uh, finance, whether anything, I think women have sort of scored over its male gender. And I'm very proud of that. It is not always the doctors to be blamed, it is the parents also who choose to know what is the sex of the child and to prefer a particular sex over another are also responsible. So I think today the children, you are the best ambassadors to spread this message that we require equal ratio of male and female in our society. For Prime, video journalist Aditya Bidre, Margao. Advino Fernandez, President of Human Rights Defenders, has castigated the Tourism Department for fleecing the public exchequer and paying huge amounts to the two beach cleaning contractors and grab of wages and administration charges to the contractors. Advino alleged that while the previous contractors were being paid less than 2 crores per year for cleaning the beaches, the new contractors appointed in September 2014 are being paid a hefty sum of Rs 10 crores. That for several years, the tourism department was annually paying less than 2 crores to the previous contractors who were cleaning Goa's full coastal belt. Then in the year 2013, the government wanted to start the mechanized beach cleaning which was objected by us due to our interest in protecting the Goan beaches and the environment and to safeguard the rights of the fisherfolk community. The tourism department continued with the manual cleaning of beaches from September 2014, but by utilizing the services of two new contractors, Ram Engineering and Bhumika Transport, each for North and South Goa. But the difference was that the tenders were unnecessarily bloated 
for making way away for the private coffers of the tourism officials. So now, after scrutinizing all the bills for the past one year, we have calculated the amount spent by the tourism department on the two contractors, which comes to almost 10 crores for the full year. And the point to be noted is that the previous contractors were doing the same work, you can say a better work for less than 2 crores. Say due to inflation, it could be 3 crores now. So the difference between 3 crores and 10 crores is 7 crores per year. And this extra and unnecessary amount of 7 crores per year is being spent by the tourism department on the contractors under the garb of wages to the laborers and under the garb of administration charges to the contractors. And we, the people of Goa, are being, are being fooled by this government in the name and style of zero tolerance to corruption. Advino alleged that the rights of the laborers are also being violated. He said that migrant laborers brought for work are not being paid for over six months and are harassed. Our reliable sources have also informed us that a big group of migrant laborers were brought to work in Goa from Dharavi slum area and they were not paid for continuous six months and they were also being harassed. There's also an FIR registered at the Punjim police station against the beach cleaning contractor for cheating his subcontractors to the tune of 40 lakhs. For Prime, video journalist Mahesh Vaigankar, Panchim. Delegation of Goa Union of Journalists on Friday met a new Labour Commissioner Arun Desai and submitted a memorandum demanding follow-up of wage board implementation in all media organisations in Goa. Good brought in the notice of the Commissioner Desai that by not implementing wage board for all employees, media organisations are committing contempt of Supreme Court. Desai assured to follow up the issue. Good also brought in the notice of the Commissioner that some offices of magazines and channels are not even giving appointment letters to their employees according to a press note issued by Good, General Secretary. Environmentalist Rajendra Kerkar has called for protection of the government and said the protesting of North Kannada activists should not try to snatch Goa's share of the preserved environment after destroying their own. He was speaking at the Menezes Braganza lecture series on Friday. He also condemned the Goa government move to declare coconut trees as grass. Kerkar also flayed the Defence Minister's statement to resolve the Madhya dispute outside the court. I Uttar Karnataka le log raste re liya and raste re un magri karta ki aapka piu pa chhu udak zai apna shipnao chhu udak zai ya lokam khare mande sampachi amcha netyani garaj asli ki baba nu tumi tumche utka ke srod nasht ke liya sa tumi jangla nasht ke liya sa ani ek nai ji nai sarhit paddhati goi sarka rajya nu ita ek lahan supulle goi naavache rajya sa 3724 kilometer क्षेत्रफल हंगासे लोग जासा टेंशनी नियोजन बद्दा अपने राज्य जासा तेरा कुंद हो जाने सा सावसारान अशे एक लान राज्य सा अनि भारत देश अत्ले एको तर राज्य जासा जानी अपने जंगल जासा तेरे व्यवस्थित पढ़न राखुंद हो जाने सा हम जब गोई चा संदर्भान जाना विचार करता तेरना गोई चे एको साठ टक्के जंगल असर दुर्देवी निर्णय कितना लगा सकते मार दो ऐसा तो झाड़ नहीं हूँ जब मारान मुझे हम जो दक्षिण भारत का कोशिश है ऐसा परंपरा सा कि मारा मान लो तो ले तो नहीं संतान जाओ तो मार हम जो जून आकर निकली थी ऐसा मंगेश पढ़ाव कर चुके हुए था वाचा कि वो बाकी बाप बुरका रह चुके हुए था वाचा अरे बाणावले � Tell us how you like the newscast. WhatsApp us on 9637-969244 or email us on newsprimegoa at gmail.com. Thank you for watching Prime. Take care and goodbye.